Hello and welcome to my aerial tour of Bramber Castle which um, lies on the outskirts of the village of Bramber just next to Stenning in Sussex. Now here's a view of the Mott or central mound of the castle. It was a Mott and Bailey castle which is basically a mound surrounded by a curtain wall and the Mott is the mound and then the flat grassy area is the Bailey where the sort of day to day life of the castle would have gone on and there's a curtain wall around the outside and that tall stone pillar is the remains of the gatehouse um, and then oh, you get a good view of the site there there's the gatehouse on the left and the wooded mound to the right obviously that wouldn't have had trees on it originally it would have originally had a wooden keep um, but they that was pretty soon after it was built um, replaced with a stone keep uh, there's the local church also built at the same time by the same family William de Breos in 1073 and we're just going to fly around the bailey and see the extent of the castle. So to the left there you've got part of the moat and the earliest part of the fortifications would have been to excavate the moat, create a bank around the outside of the moat and also use some of that material to build up the, the mound in the middle of the mot. And then over here this is um, we think was the main accommodations built in stone to the, uh, to the left of the uh, mot there. Um, and as I said earlier, this is the remains of the gatehouse rather than the keep. Um, and yeah, the church is still in much better condition than the castle. So just flying out over the moat here, not the mot, the moat, which is the ditch around the outside of the castle. It's fairly heavily wooded, um, but it's a nice good sort of 10 or 15 minute walk to walk around the moat and uh, it's on a hot day it's a nice shady walk and getting a good view of the, uh, the whole site there now behind the uh, in between the mot and the gatehouse this area was excavated and found to be filled in filled with chalk and clay and I believe there were various buildings like barracks or um, other stuff um, built on that part of the castle um, so the castle was held by the de Brose family until the 13th century where an argument with King John resulted in it, him taking it over for a little while. Then it returned to the family until the 14th century when it was um, went into the hands of the Mowbray family. And then sadly in the 16th century rather than war it was large scale substance which led to the castle's ruin. And um, a lot of the stone, you can still see some of the stone walls remaining but a lot of the stone was taken away and used for local building projects but you can just see some of the curtain wall still visible there as we fly along back along the moat so yeah that's pretty much it uh, the uh, castle is free to visit and um, don't have to pay to get in but there's not that much to see but there is some nice walking and a uh, good nice large grass area for playing in if you've got the children with you or well, you could have a picnic anyway thanks for watching and see you soon